Hello and welcome to another Near Reading Cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm joined by Joey. How's it going, Joey? Not too bad, thank you. Uh, so we're here in the fifth elimination round of the Reading Store Champ. So only three players remain. Uh, Chris Dyer, who you may have heard of, waits in the final. Uh, and to face him, it's going to be one of these two. Either on the left-hand side, uh, his extra uh, compatriot, Alex Hilson. Or on the right-hand side, uh, London's David Rogers. Alex is playing Wizard and David's playing CTM. So this is... Not exactly a rare matchup. Is it? Not at this time in the meta, no. no. A bit less CTM nowadays. That's true, yeah. But not much less wizard. So this was actually um, a little bit back in time. This was uh, pre Quorum. So in fact, this was pre Sifa uh, and yeah, pre Yeah, pre Marin, more, well. more yeah. importantly, yeah. Um, yes, but this is a fairly, uh, apart from that, um, Probably nothing too surprising in these Wizard and CTM lists. They're both kind of what you expect. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Dumbles. And was uh, Chris in the final playing Wizard and CTM as well? Um, yes. 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 Depending I think on the spot was. there, I believe he was. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, it's a common. It's a popular pair of decks. Uh, so from um, David, we saw a, uh, a draw and a sweep on Arsenal HQ. No installed remotes, which you would like to see. Uh, as, well, we're against Wizard, well, I suppose, yeah, because you'll see... Senses and bank and yeah. stuff when we get yeah, there, right? Yeah. Um, I forget CTM, of course. So, Wizards, ha having no pressure, is happy to drop a Liberate and money up. That seems reasonable. Uh, he also drew a card. Um, I wonder, then, uh, I guess... We'll see, find out very quickly if this is a Dumbles Wiz or if it's a te just a kind of Temujin Reg Wiz. Um, it could go either way. That will dictate a little bit how it goes. The fact that it has Liberated suggests it's not siphon it's not siphon uh yeah it's probably not siphon siphon kind of died off a little bit um it was obviously popular in uh, worlds uh, so we're going to get a strike and then a run on the remotes yeah san san he was hoping for a senses there wasn't he Quite yeah, maybe yeah maybe but i think he trashes it and he does uh the strike of course is going to avoid the tag but uh he is going to drop lower money so he's going to liberate it i'll get him back up because he needs uh to avoid hard hitting right yes he does yeah uh billy broad again back up to nine um, so Dave's going to drop and use a Jackson if he does have a hard hitting it's not going to be quite as effective as it might have been does have one kit remaining though which means that employee strike is going to stay up for another turn at least which is good yeah um, it's interesting the the way that CTM tries to score and capitalise means that scoring a breaking news out of hand to kill a strike is not really something you ever do so strikes do tend to stay up sure uh, well unless you just accept they're going to go tag me at some point or, yeah, yeah. Which uh, is not sure, but necessarily I do you want to be able to capitalise on breaking news. Uh, he's going to ice a remote. Okay, so he's got the start of a, what will be a scoring remote. Um, so I wonder what that ice could be. It could be a toll booth or something. The yeah, or, like or he hasn't got any breaker, hunt. so it could literally be anything. It could just... Yes, it could be. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, we're so out the meta at this time, I don't really know what CTM well, is playing, but it could be like so a vanilla or... Against Wizard, you just... You don't want to have stuff unprotected anyway, so if you put down sand sands and stuff, you want them to... Have to get through. That's okay, so we got fast. So it is Dumbles for sure. Um, so that means that uh, Alex dropped the fast, but he doesn't have uh, the wild side yet. He would like to get the wild side. I would have so he can challenge remotes. I would have waited for him to install that remote. I think before dropping that fast, if he didn't use it. But hmm. oh, okay. Okay, so we have uh, an install in the ice remote, and then the creation of another ice remote with a card in it. Uh, Alex is going to check the new remote, which is a pop up, which will break in two. Chooses one instead of a card. That's true. He could, have, he could have played a card. Yeah, he doesn't have wild side, so I think there's got to be an agenda down here. He really wants to get rid of that strike, doesn't he? So, so David's having a good think about this other remote. Uh, did he? Can it. Did he access? No, David's thinking about using. I wonder if it's a Jackson. Uh, it's a member that he's going to use to raise a sun sun. Okay, uh, but which will almost certainly get trashed. Yes, because Wizards can trash for free. Uh, I guess uh, so that's good because Wizards is going to trash that but also that means that you got net one credit discount on the Sansan, -San, which is nothing and Wizard doesn't have any more money any more money to go back and trash the Sansan. -San. he can use his own money but that seems like a bad idea yeah I think I, I, I'd I, be tempted though because he scores now and the strike goes away and then when do you trash the Sansan? -San? you have to trash it <clears> at yeah, some point that's it so uh, he's going to check HQ, which I like from Alex there, actually, because this suggested that, he had, had an, that David has an agenda. He wants to score off the Sansan. -San. So yeah, uh, forcing him to um, either give up the access or drop below scoring range. Um, obviously, it's resistor, which he can fast. Yeah, I think if he had to pay money to res that, I would definitely would have gone back for the Sansan. -San. He's another Sansan, -San, which you definitely leave. Yeah. 
Trash the Sanderson. <coughs> yeah, he, yeah, he hasn't got enough clicks now. He needs to clear. The, has he got two clicks left? Uh, yes, because he ran the new remote and then he ran HQ. Okay. Uh, he's going to take two credits. Why not take the four? You want to leave your money liberated in case you get close to counts. So you can bounce back. Oh, I see. This is a pro strat called, called offshoring. Uh, right. I believe that term is coined by uh, Mr. Alex White. As are most terms. <laughs> As are many terms, yeah. Um, yes, because they can trash your resources or they can close your accounts, but they rarely can do both, which yeah. means that if you have some resources high around, you can recover. He's going to score breaking news off the Sand Sand, which does kill a strike, and he does have a click remaining. He might draw before. It looks like he did. Yeah, unless interesting. He's, oh, unless he's thinking about trashing Liberated. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd been tempted just to go for that Sand Sand because he's so poor. It would have saved you. It would have cost you all your money, but it would have saved you your employee strike. Uh, so unless he's going to draw. Um, I think that uh, David Jackson drew first. So he's going to drop medium, interesting, and probably run R&D because uh, David may not be able to defend it. Instead, he drops same old thing, takes a credit. Okay, he's, he may be scared to run. Uh, because he does only have six credits, and hard news is a risk. Uh, uh, even, even, even with the corp on four. Yeah, sure, but <clears throat> yeah, maybe. I I forget that it's it's. I think of it like a mini mid seasons, but it's not like that. I mean, if they can do it, then you get all four. So it's not. It, yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> so four. So six, you're right. Probably isn't quite safe. Yeah, but if you can sweep hedge hot hitting, like you have two clicks before you play it, so yeah, it, yeah it's a risk. So he's going to store behind the pop up and take two credits. I wonder if he attempts to check it now as Alex. Um, so much strike. Okay. <clears throat> uh, which is dangerous leaving the Santan up, so he's going to run the Santan. Six credits. Yeah, I think it's unlikely to be an agenda in the remote given that he's got a Santan up. Enigma. Okay, so he can get through. I think he has to. Yeah. He's going to lose the click anyway. Might yeah. as well ditch one card or two and get the click. That's true. That's true. So he does only have one click remaining. You're always better off, I think, probably chucking a card to the click and just using the click to draw a replacement. Unless these cards are really good. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, or he may have something else in mind. I'm not sure that would be. He's going to be quite poor after this. Um, so he's... He's but somewhat safe from Hardic News because the corp is also very poor. But yeah, he could also just clear the Liberated. Like, I, I get the, the keeping hold of it. But. So, in fact, he bounced. Uh, huh. And David's going to draw a... Uh, sorry, res a pad and takes some extra draw. So he does have two credits. He can score off a uh, Sansan San if he draws, say, an Astro or any 3-2. Uh, if he draws a Breaking News as well, he might consider scoring it too. Well, no, maybe not at this point. Um, the... You want to kind of force the runner to give up a GFI before you score your next breaking news, I think. There are only three, so you don't want to waste scoring them, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to draw and check the remote to pad, which is going to leave. Okay. It's interesting. He hasn't run R&D since... Oh, no, he does. He's no, dropped he's the medium. Right. Yeah, that's true. He dropped it and then didn't... And he sort of same mod the strike, but hasn't utilised that by trashing anything because he, he bounced off trashing the sand sand. Archangel is quite a tough one. He does have five cards in hand, so he can break it. Um, it's quite costly. He could face the... Oh, well, that's six to break the choice. He'll lose the medium. Um, yes, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you don't bounce the liberated, and bouncing medium is better than bouncing fast. So he's going to use fast to break it, which is uh, three cards. He's going to access temple trash you, I mean are you going to go back that's the question he does trash it so does that mean he's thinking about going back he no. has one card so that's a no uh, but David is poor he has, uh, does only one credit uh, if you can trash that pad maybe you can top the other one yeah I mean the other pad there is I the think this is, is going better for CTM though right it's, like it's, pop it's definitely going better for CTM well it's a red sand sun, so that's always good that's always going to help uh, even with the employee strike um, it's going to cost him a click, a card. And, uh, yeah. And Alex is flying very close to the wind with respect to hard hit news. I mean, he, he is staying richer than David, but David only has to, you know, spend her money up. And Alex, Alex's economy seems to be faltering a little bit. Um, He's always got that floor, floor floating if he needs it. If yeah. it means trashing the sense on this turn, 
got something then he can. David's gonna feel better than that he's resident Arcane's on the remote. If if uh if Alex can drop a David, I think that changes things a little bit, because he can drop the David and then run around it a few times. And get potentially quite a lot of accesses, especially with Wizard as well. Uh he's gonna draw though. Dirty laundry archives. Uh, so Jackson Pass, okay. Put back a face down card, which could be anything, but it's probably in gender. Mumbers. Two member temples. Okay, that seems reasonable. I mean, because he's very poor, so you can use the members to. Uh, res everything. Yeah, res ice for cheap. Well, not just ice. And pads. So yeah. Sand sands. Yeah. Uh, this sand sand is now further iced. Um, I wonder. So I would run it because he's got two credits. Uh, yeah, Alex didn't uh, check. You've got to strike it out. that turn. I mean, I, I'm not sure he could run click four and um, just pitch a card to, to fast to break Enigma, right? Yeah, and with two credits, that's going to be like a pop up window or a resistor, yeah, or something, right? Yeah. Like it's not, it's not another Archangel. Whereas now, if he takes two credits, you have to respect Archangel, which is a pain in the ass. Yeah. So yeah, I I wonder if uh, Alex could consider being more I, aggressive about that sand sand, which has been raised for basically the whole game at this point. He hasn't used his five credits he had from the time he bounced off the San San originally. That's true. But Well, no, but he, uh, he's he been avoiding hard-hitting news, right? I mean, by this point, David's probably drawn it. Yeah, sure. So having the money is using it. Um, but David's going to money up and saw us on uh, R&D. He did get sweeps, which helped, uh, helped yeah. boost. Um, so... You'd have to feel that the momentum is with CTM a little bit at this point. Just a yeah. little bit. It's the res San San. Uh, it's the fact that he's got a couple of pads ticking over now, which Alex doesn't seem interested in trashing. Uh, he's got, you know, some decent res dice on the board, including an Archangel and R&D. So he's going to feel a little more confident. Uh, if um, So there's the David for Alex. That's going to help as well. So that means that he'll be able to get into R&D a bit more aggressively. I wonder if he considers running it this turn. Uh, he is very poor. David has a quick check. For strength five plus ice. I, yeah, I don't think he'll do it this turn. I think he'll wait for a bit more money and some cutlery, maybe. And well, stuff. Alex has also suffered because he hasn't drawn a wild side. Like you can assume there's three in the deck, um, and fast that wild side does struggle because he's spending a click or two each turn drawing now, which is yeah, yeah, like a lot. Uh, so he's going to spoon R and D. So he's very confident he's going to get through this outside ice. Uh, which doesn't get rezzed, so David will spoon oh, Archangel, okay. and he can access uh, two cards. Uh, what click is this? Um, I don't know, but I think he dropped David this turn, so it must be late. Yeah, sure. so he can access two, a mystery card, uh, GFI in fact, and an all-seeing eye. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. So Go he's going he's Go he's to clear the liberated. Okay. Uh, so he doesn't fear the all-seeing eye at all. Um, and he does have a GFI, which isn't necessarily good news. No. Because that turns on exchange and, uh, I guess, closed accounts is now a bit more of a threat as well. Having said that, um, Alex can run R&D. You know, David wasn't willing to res the ice before, which suggests maybe it's something that, I don't know, he'd rather spend his money elsewhere. But if these pads tick over, he will res it. It, uh, what, what could it be except like a toll booth or yeah maybe it's something that uh, Alex can break fairly trivially like a resistor or a pop-up if it's a pop-up he'd res it though if it's a resistor he'd res it so I'm not sure I'm trying to work out what it is could be a cobra or something uh, Alex will check the, the nearest remote which is another pad uh, he, I just think you uh, go for the three run on R&D and hope that's a toll booth you can't res he has let those pads build up which means David is now getting quite a lot of money so uh, Alex is going to have to capitalise so you're just going to run R&D. Data ward. Okay, that answers that question. So um, that's basically three to break, long story short, because you can pay three to avoid the tag and therefore all the subs are blank. Yeah. But if you do start floating tags, it does get a lot more punishing to break uh, for David or Faust. So he's going to pay three and access three cards. Crash. But this is how he's going to win if, he's, if he does, right? Because he's just going to get accesses and risk going low. He's going to go up to four points now to doing the bill. Uh, he trashed a card as well, so he can go back. He's got three credits. He's going to access two new cards. I'm not sure if that's thing is, necessarily yeah, well, then what's the right Click call? for three credits next turn, run again. Like it. Yeah, gets... so I'm not sure that's necessarily the right thing to do. I mean... You say that, though. Three credits run, three credits run, three credits run each turn. He's going to get two turns of that. You're getting more access. Quite deep. Yeah. Uh, if 
and he's also going to prevent David from drawing a breaking news. Now, if David already already has one, you'd assume he would have scored it. Um, maybe he's waiting, waiting for a combo. He might yeah. be waiting for the punishment. We also haven't seen an exchange. He's going to click for a credit and run again. On click four, uh, paying the three, he's going to access some new cards. Oh, that's GFI. Sensi, Sensi which can't afford trash. Cannot afford trash. Well, and that's a game. bill, but yeah. that's game. Okay. So, Oof. yeah, he, he, he identified his line, right? Which was that uh, the momentum is definitely swinging towards CTM. Yeah, you yeah. can feel it. You know, he had all those pads. So um, he just took his opportunity to spring on R&D, get as many access as he could. He, he stopped paying attention to the risk of going poor. He decided yeah. that hot hitting news is a risk, but I'm already falling behind in this game. So uh, it was a, a very reasonable kind of reading of the state. I yeah, think. I think if CTM had more money... He wouldn't have done that because you'd have opened yourself up to all sorts of pain and he would have just secured R&D. And so you're like, I have to pay for the long game. But you're like, he's on one credit. I'm going to get this well, run, next run. Then I'm going to three credits. I'm probably going to go again before we can install and res some more well, ice. By the end, but by the end, CTM had like seven credits because he had two res pads and another one on oh, the way. Like he was get, he, the, His money was going up without him even clicking for credits. So his money was improving that. He was, David was poor for like large stretches yeah. of that game. Um, but I think that Alex had already kind of start. He already given up that he was going to ignore the pads. So yeah. money was eventually going to be not a problem. Yeah. So being aggressive is the only way. But he got the accesses, and I think it's fair to say he got slightly lucky. But you know, yeah, he, he played, did see a lot of agendas at the top there, and and yeah. CTM was obviously waiting for some agendas, sort of. Um, like had he's right, had the pads. That's true. That San San was up the whole game. Like if you draw a Beal, he scored a break. You can't just score a Beal, yeah. right? Like, Two points. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, yes, I agree. So, uh, to some extent, maybe David under iced R and D if that was where he was going to lose. But it's tough to make that uh, that claim, right? Uh, you know, he had to. He put Data Ward on it. That's decent. He put an Archangel on it. Like he put decent pieces of ice on it. Yeah, but... and if he invested less ice in the remotes, then Wizard probably would have just kept on top of them. Mm. Uh, you know, the, that ice helped Wizard decide to give up on trashing things. Also, CTM not getting any senses, like no political assets at all, really mm. firing. That's tough and was still in a dominating position. Shows how strong that CTM deck was, really. Yeah, yeah. Without really getting the tag punishment, without getting the uh, political assets that drive the deck forward, still got into quite a dominating position, which is, yeah, which testament to how strong it is. And playing against a wizard with a st strike. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, what, right. what it takes to beat that, what it took to beat that CTM deck is crazy. <laughs> So uh, that means that Alex Hilson progresses, which means in the Reading Store Champ uh, finals, we had an all Exeter matchup as Alex Hilson played Chris Dyer. Um, so uh, in the next video, uh, that will be the final, Alex is on Wizard again, but this time he's going to play against Chris Dyer's CTM. I mean, Chris Dyer's quite a good player. He did win Worlds of the CTM list. This deck is probably fairly similar. Is that an intimidating prospect? Yes. I, I they agree. probably played yes. before though, right? They he'd probably they will have, yeah. and Chris isn't um, Chris isn't that intimidating to play, I don't find. Like not because he's yeah, not better I know than what you mean. everyone else in the world, but but I can actually relax and play against him and play better. Yeah, I know I do know what you mean. He's a very good player. But he's so nice so that, that is you can, intimidating, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do agree. And I'm not saying that the intimidating players aren't nice, but there's just some players for some reason more intimidating to play against than others. And Chris manages to lull me into a sense of <laughs> okay. confidence before he destroys me. Yeah. So so yeah. I wouldn't be intimidated, but I also wouldn't be expecting to win the game. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, let's see. I mean, Wizard versus CTM, I guess it's a matchup for the ages. So we'll see. Yeah. We saw in this one that CTM is very strong and that Wizard can win. But Wizard can it's win. It's medium. Yeah. <laughs> it's got medium. Medium wins games. <laughs> medium. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so I would just like to remind all of our viewers they can find all the videos on the website, neoreddinggrid.co.uk. Uh, we're on Twitter and Facebook, and we're also on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Uh, thank you, Joe, for helping me commentate. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.